Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Friday, the 24th of September, 2021. We've had a wonderful week this week so far. And at this weekend, we're looking at the topic, seeing it and having it. The Bible says, For all the land which thou seest, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed forever. Genesis chapter 13 and verse 15. Thought for the day, what man cannot see, God cannot give. In a previous study, we saw that the forces of, or the force of picture is a force that enhances faith. This is why God always shows scripture to people in pictures. From our anchor scripture, God showed the picture of the land of Canaan to Abraham and his descendants. Eventually, they possessed that land which he saw. This shows that what you can believe, you can possess. What you have seen is what you can possess. The Word of God is showing you something. The question is, what are you seeing from the scriptures? What are you seeing from what God is saying or showing you? For example, what do you see when God says, Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the sides of thine house, thy children like an only plant round about uh, um, and your children like only plants round about your table that's Psalm 128 verse 3 you know the only plant is rich in oil so oil plants olive oil plants are oil carriers this means I cannot have an anointless or oilless child my children are to be like only plants I cannot have an anointless child praise the Lord so we are encouraged to ensure that we see from the scripture what the picture is from that scripture if you want numerical count in your congregation see about seeing it first now my husband god's servant decided to write out you know the attendance he wanted in church uh, and put it around the house in different places that was one way near one and before you knew it that count had been exceeded by far by then uh, by the time he looked, we were, um, we were, when he was doing it, we were just a few thousands in number in the church. And he was trusting God for tens of thousands of people. So he wrote them and pasted them everywhere around the house. After some time, by the time he looked again at the figure that he had written, he saw that we had exceeded that number by... So beloved, how do you see yourself? How do you see your family? Do you see yourself quarreling all the time or do you see a harmonious home? What man cannot see, God cannot give. That is the law of faith. It's the law of spiritual reception. What do you see about your business? What do you see about your career? And what do you see about your family? You will only have what you see. Praise the Lord. Remember this, what man cannot see, God cannot give. Praise the Lord. We have two assignments today. Number one, make up your mind to see pictures out of scriptures. And number two, believe God to bring to pass what you see. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Say after me, thank you, Lord, for your word to me today. I receive the grace to see pictures out of scriptures. Oh, Lord, in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Congratulations. I see something coming out for you sh shortly in Jesus' name. Now, our reflection today, God's servant says, Thoughts fuel beliefs. And beliefs fuel speech. And, fuel, and, and, and speech fuels actions. And actions fuel habits. And habits determine character. Character determines destiny. It all begins with what you think or what you see. So begin to think right, begin to see right, begin to imagine right. And I see you rising to the top in Jesus' name. Praise God. I want to pray for you today. You want to see yourself being born again. You want to see a good life in Jesus. I'd like you to pray this afternoon. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away my sins. Make me a new person.
From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Congratulations. The Lord bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. Amen. I declare today the Lord and grace you to see well in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to wish you a very happy birthday today. Congratulations, it's your birthday. I want you to know that God has something special in store for you in this season and you shall fulfill your destiny in Jesus' name. You are blessed. Have a wonderful day.